Nashville generates tons of waste each day, sewage sludge delivered to the city's wastewater treatment plant. The stay here for some of these materials will be temporary. But first, just what exactly is a biosolid? Biosolids are residuals from wastewater treatment plants. In the past, in Tennessee, most of the biosolids have been landfilled. In Nashville, they have a new process to produce a, a product that can be used as a fertilizer. UT's Institute of Agriculture has been working with Nashville government to make good use of the 20,000 tons of biosolids produced here every year. Waste that used to be sent to a landfill or out of state at a high cost is now being made into a useful product. Nashville invested in retrofitting its facility, which reduced odor and eliminated detectable pathogens. Now the biosolids are made thicker and used to grow microscopic bacteria. And then you have the next critical steps in the process. After 17 days of digestion, we dewater the organic material, and then we uh, pasteurize it through the uh, drying process, and then we form the pellets. And here are some of those pellets Mr. Lawrence just mentioned, the result of the transition from waste to fertilizer. The plant produces some 1,500 tons of these pellets each month, and now they're being shipped from the big city out to the country. Here trucks load the pellets to take to Robertson County, where it will be spread on farmland. UT Biosystems Engineering and Soil Science has experimented with the pellets on forage grown north of Nashville, as well as ag research centers in Crossville and Greenville. The results are encouraging, increased nutrients in the soil to produce more and better quality hay. This material obviously provides organic matter, but as well as these important nutrients nitrogen and phosphorus as well as some other ones like, like sulfur and uh, copper and zinc which can all be benefit our, our soils and our cropping systems. With this effort not only is Nashville reducing waste it's saving money as well. Now that we're producing this product uh, as a fertilizer we're able to help the farmers out and we're saving in tipping fees alone at the landfill over four million dollars a year. Great potential to rather than send this material to the landfill we can actually recycle it and get some beneficial reuse for it. Walker says the next step is to try the pellets on row crops like corn, cotton, and wheat, and perhaps offer it to gardeners. Experts say the material works, and bottom line, agriculture and a city see a benefit. This is Charles Denny reporting.